In this demonstration, we're going to be creating memos that go along with our sources or nodes. And a memo might be your theoretical notes, it might be your methodological notes that are related to the, the source or the node that you're, that you're observing with inside of InVivo. Now you may have already created in your field notes some methodological notes or some theoretical notes, but when you begin to analyze, additional things will occur to you and you want to have a way to record those and have them linked to the source. So for example, um, I'm looking at a source that is Diane, one of Diana's journal entries. It's an image. And as I look at that, one of the things I notice is that all of the words in the title, One Dark Night, are spelled correctly. Now, knowing that she's a four-year-old, uh, it makes me really wonder whether that would be possible. But I know that I have a way to check on that. I can actually look at her a write start writing assessment which I would also have inside this data set so in order to, to make sure that I can remember that and that I have my observation I believe I want to create a memo to go with this so to create a memo that's linked to a source you can simply be looking at the source right click on it and you'll see the links choice go to memo link and choose link to new memo I'm going to call this Diana one dark night notes and click OK. Now InVivo creates a space for me to type in my memo. So I'm just going to type in, like I always do, MN for methodological note. And I noted that the child noted the child spelled all the words correctly. I wonder if this was done by herself. I doubt it. Then I'm going to make a note to myself, check the right start assessment. Okay? Now, um, if, we, if we want to see what's happened to that memo, the first thing to do is we notice that it goes into the memos folder that's under sources. We can also go to look at Diana's journal entries. Here's Diana 004, the one I was that I just wrote a memo about. And notice here that you see the little memo icon. If I'm looking at Diana's 004 source, and let me get this where we can see the picture. Remember, you go to zoom, and you can tell it cut. You can tell it fit to view, so we'll see the whole image. Now, if I want to, if I want to be able to see the memo that goes with this, I see that there is one. I want to be able to read it. Then I can highlight that source, right click. Go to the memo link choice and go open linked memo. And there we see it. Now that it's open here in detail view, I can actually add more information to it if I choose. Let's pretend to do that. I can easily switch between my image and my memo, adding more methodological notes or more theoretical notes as I go. So this is really a great advantage to be able to add these memos inside of InVivo. One thing you need to pay attention to, however, is that you can only link one memo to each source or each node. So in the case that you are writing a more general analytic memo that might have to do with a lot of different sources, you don't want to link it to just one node, or maybe you want to link it to several nodes. So what you may want to do is create a general memo by going to the Memos folder, and then the Create tab, and just create memo, and it will be um, just a general memo that gets put into the into the memos folder without being linked to any one source. So I could just call it general memo right here, and this might be a chance for me to write a variety of different kinds of observations, you know, about at some point in my analysis. So I'll just pretend that I'm adding that there. Uh, so this particular memo that's called general memo, you notice that it doesn't show that it's linked to a particular source where the one dark night memo that we just cre created is linked. One final thing you want to recognize about memos is that they can be coded to any node just like any other kind of text. So for example, I decided that I wanted to code this bit of text that came out of a memo to one of the nodes that we have existing. We do it in the usual way. We just select we just select the node, open them up so we can see them all. And in this case, um, I think I'll just code it to the Diana node because I know, of course, that it is connected up with Diana. So we would highlight the text and just drag and drop into the Diana node. 